Hey, welcome to Geraldine's super secret author vlog. So as a fantasy author, one of my favorite things to do when I'm creative writing, but also even when I'm just editing or proofreading or anything because I've gotten addicted to this, is to burn candles with special scents. Just not any old candle, but like high quality candles that have uh, scents that will take you on a journey for me, that auditory stimulation, I just love it. There's nothing else like it. And sometimes I also do incense. I have a little incense burner and the little charcoal discs, you know, so I, I like to do that as well. Uh, but most of the time I do candles. So I have two favorite candle companies that are just out of this world. I'm gonna be talking about mythology candles. You will not believe them and they are very addictive. And also fairy secrets. Fairy Secrets I first discovered at the Ren Fair, and this candle, as you can see, is pretty big, and it's heavy, you can see that. So I began buying these at the Ren Fair every year, because I go every year, and that way I didn't have to pay shipping. And so this was my first candle love, and the nice thing about it is that for about the same size you're gonna pay for one of these, which is easily between 20 and $30, you can get a big one of these for Fairy Secrets, and it fits perfectly on my mug warmer. I've got one over there right now, so I don't even have to burn it. I can just have it melt and be on my mug warmer. Now, the special thing about these, besides the fact that they have amazing scents, this one's peppermint eucalyptus, which I like to do during the Christmas holiday seasons, but they also have like dragon's blood and pomegranate cider. These are some favorites. Um, but it, this is not just a candle, it's a lotion candle. I've had this one for a while, so you can see it's not very new, but this one, this one is teakwood spice. And basically you can dip your hands right in there and it's a lotion candle. You can rub your hands and keep your hands nice and moisturized. Since I live in dry Colorado, we constantly have to be moisturizing our hands. And so that's the beauty of this brand. It's not just a candle, it's a lotion candle. And it melts but doesn't melt away. It like stays for the longest time. Basically one of these candles will last me like a year. And then when we had lockdown and the Ren Fair was, was canceled, I happened to have enough of them to get me through those whole two years. So this one's definitely way more cost effective than mythology candles. Um, and it's also, they have amazing scents, but they're not storyline scents. Like Mythology Candles has stories, right? They put you into the dungeon or, you know, the elven forest or whatever. These have more simple fragrances that don't have a story attached to it, but they are still like amazing scents. I love them. I love just about all of them and they have a good variety and they are the same all the time. I have it, you know, I probably come out with new ones once in a while, but generally they have the same scents and, um, so, but they're also lotion. And so that's what's so great about these. I love fairy secrets for that reason. You can get them online, but I usually buy them at the Ren Fair every year. Mythology candles is gonna drain your bank account. I'll just tell you that right now because it's so addictive. This is a, 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 mother, a young mother who is a musician who creates fantasy music. And she came up with the idea of wanting to have like your room filled with the scent that would take you to that place. And she's obviously a gifted writer as well because each of her candles comes with like a setting or a story or a scene. They're meant to transport you to a place and a time. And they're usually fantasy worlds. You know, she has Lord of the Rings collections and collections based on Narnia. I, I just finally got the Camelot co collection. This one is Camelot and King Arthur and Lady of the Lake. I mean, just listen to this for a second. Camelot, in a mythical castled city, a legendary king and his brave knights discuss their next quest over feasting and song. Notes of soft woods, crushed violet petals, cedar leaf and amber warmed with a hint of tonka bean. So, I mean, you can see each candle is like that. Like it has a story and a description and it's like really incredible. And her email, like once you get on her email list, the you get all these sequences that are full of story and interesting things and she comes out with new scents all the time and then they sell out like right now there's the shadows scent which is halloween scents like orc raid you know burning villages i mean like really unusual and interesting stuff and so each season she comes out with brand new adventurous scents you know and it's all different and and it's just like a journey it really is it's an experience and it's a journey 
So this one, the reason why it'll drain your bank account is because unlike the other ones, this one doesn't last as long and I burn these like pretty much every day. And so I use them up pretty fast <laughs> and they don't last that long. And you're paying that, you know, 25 or $30 for one. They have a regular one, which is a little cheaper. And then they have the deluxe version, which it comes in a bigger, fancier jar with a fancier lid. Whoops. And it also has a special wooden wick that creates a little crackling fire sound, like a sputtering sound as if you were at a, with a, by a fireplace, right? So it's a whole experience, just put it that way. And um, she even has like a monthly subscription program so you can get first access to the new scents. And she's always coming out with new stuff and they're always amazing and they inspire you and get you excited. And then they sell out, you know, and so then you have to get, you have to watch for the next one. And uh, she has a few historical scents. She has like a huge variety of scents, like and new ones coming out all the time. Uh, it's so fascinating, all the different ones. Like a new one I just tried, which was from their, I think it was from their fairy collection, is called Fay of the Forest. Faithful kite in the summer sun in the shade of speckled toadstools. Tiny glowing lanterns adorn moss-covered branches, lighting up the tall trees and dark soil. Notes of ancient magic, deep green pine trees, crisp cedar, and crushed leaves on a bed of soft musk. Oh, and then I have another new one, which is Highlander. So, of course, I'm a huge fan of Jamie and Outlander and all that. And Highlander, I love it. It just smells so amazing. Um, now, some of these, they have, some have stronger scents and some have not so strong scents. Like King Arthur out of the Camelot collection. I love all of the scents. But the King Arthur one I noticed is not very strong. It's more subtle. So I don't always smell it as well in a room. Like I smell it when I'm, I'm sniffing it. But when it's I'm just been burning it for a while, that one is more subtle and I sometimes barely notice it. And keep in mind, I did lose my sense of smell last year when I had COVID right before Thanksgiving and it has come back, but I don't fully trust if it's completely come back or not. So it might just be partly that, but um, all the other ones though, like this Fay of the Forest is perfect for the Christmas holidays. It has such a pine scent and which is what we look for. I've moved away from real cut pine trees, uh, you know, to. For, for various reasons with that's better for the earth, I've gone to artificial Christmas tree, but I want the pine scent. And so far, this Fay of the Forest is the best pine scent I've smelled yet to have at Christmas time. Um, so there's just something for every everybody. And then also mythology candles, they offer now, I don't know if they're gonna continue to offer this, but I did get in on their refill kits so that you can use, like this is Wizard's Pipe Weed, by the way, it's one of my favorite of all scents. Um, it's like Gandalf's pipe, you know? So anyway, they sent, I, I was able to order this refill kit so that when I run out of Wizard's Pipe Weed, I can refill it and, you know, do a whole new wick and all that sort of thing. So that is actually really cool, I like that. Speaking of wicks, I noticed with Fairy Secrets, originally this would easily last a whole year or more, and I never had any problem with the wick. But more recently, my wicks have like died down or disappeared, and then I have to either put it on the mug warmer to use it, or I've tried putting new wicks in it, but the wicks I found on Amazon, they're not good quality or something because they just don't last long. I'll have Sometimes I'll have three in there just to try to keep it burning. So I will say, I'm not sure if they changed something or if I just got a bad batch of wicks, but they, the one wick used to last the entire year, but lately it lasted quite as long as I would like. So you can see the difference here. The deluxe version is bigger and more and fancier than the regular version. And the regular version is a little bit cheaper and it works just fine. It doesn't have that little crackling fire sound, but you know, most of the time I have my earbuds and I'm listening to music anyway. So that's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, it's kind of cool, but you do get more with this though, but I think with the wooden wick, it might burn down faster. So it might end up being about the same amount of burn time. I haven't measured it, but let's just say I love these candles so much. I burn them a lot. And so they don't last all that long because I use them up so fast. So one of these might last a month maybe. But the other nice thing is they have teeny little samples as well. Like if you want the whole, like say, 
Hobbit collection or whatever she has coming out, instead of buying those big ones, you can get a pack of the, of the little sample tins. And of course they're tiny, so they won't last that long, like a week maybe, but it gives you a chance to try all a bunch of different scents. And it's a good deal and they make good stocking stuffers. And so those are really awesome too, I love them. So to summarize, Fairy Secrets is wonderful, especially as a candle, a lotion candle, because it's a lotion and it will save you money because it'll last way longer. And, you know, again, you're getting the lotion and a candle, so I mean, you can't beat that. And it lasts a really long time. So if, if you're concerned about budget, this is definitely the one to go for. If budget's not an issue, get both. I, I would just say get both like I do. Um, the, the mythology candles will suck you in, will inspire you, will make you want to spend a lot of money all the time because you're going to want all their new scents and everything coming out. It's just so interesting and it's a challenge for me to watch my budget with them, but I love them so much. So it's a huge treat when I am able to place an order and, you know, get the, get the candles because like I said, they're an experience. So anyway, if you can get both, get both. They're, they're both amazing. I have to mention that the mythology candle experience is high quality from beginning to end, from the emails you get and to the absolute incredible packaging with the artwork that they, she specially has done for each set and to the candles themselves. They are so amazing. You will be blown away from beginning to end by the whole customer experience with Mythology Candles. It's incredible.